Good day, engineers. So today we will discuss about the slab to beam low distribution tool. So ito yung version 1.2 na ginawa ko. And aside from that, uh, mas updated na yan kasi ginawa ka yan sa Visual Basic uh, 6.0 na, na programming language. Kasi yung 6.1, uh, by the way guys, uh, for those who are not yet, uh, yet subscribed to our channel, sa so Pobre Engineer, please do subscribe para makatulong na rin. Uh, as you can see in the YouTube, uh, ito yung ano natin. Ito yung version 1. Uh, balik ginawa to nung uh, by using the VBA actually the VBA lang uh, by Excel lang, normal na Excel application uh, so, nice away. so as you can see uh, ito, by Excel lang so this is the version 1 so bali, inupdate ko na yan by using simple natin, ito is lab to beam load distribution to 1.2 so kasi uh, nandun yung 1.1 na excel lang din 1.2 so i-discuss muna natin for time and sample so right click uh, by the way this is the executable file na siya so pwede siya i-run sa windows okay so copy paste lang din nilara natin so right click or pwede rin double click para ma-open then as you can see mayroon tayong login form uh, for those na gusto yung account na to or yung application so i-attach ko yung uh, download link download link so so that you can download it then of course the account okay so maglagin mo na ako hmm, kapag mali yung account niyo yung data so magsasabi siya ng try again so kapag tama naman yung account mo so lagi sa school so then okay yung ito na yung makikita ninyo interface para sa version ko natin okay so this is ko muna to before tayo mag sample as you can see the right side figure so may 1 way slab tayo then the 2 way slab so yung S natin represent the short span L long span then yung uniform load yung double yun natin then uh, upon the calculation makukuha natin yung ratio then of course yung converted uh, sur surface load or the pressure load from the slab to the beam so sa beam naman, nakakilin yun per meter na siya or the linear load na siya so let's say uh, mag sample tayo ng uh, floor actual floor okay so as you can see in the uh, framing plan so yung short span natin dito kasi typical lang yung sa x is 4.5 then so, y is 4.83. So, short span natin dito is 4.5. Then, yung long span naman is 4.83. So, let's say, mag, mag ano lang tayo ng sample ng isang span ito. Okay? So, ang first step na gagawin niyo is, kailan muna natin i-check, i-check yung, uh, of course, yung type of slab, kung one way o two way siya. So, input natin yung short span, 4.5, long span is 4.83. Then, uh, yung corresponding na surface load, sabi natin 4.8 kPa. Once i-calculate natin, sabi, sabi niya dito is 2-way slab. So, kung 2-way slab siya, dapat yung distribution ng, ng load natin is trapezoidal siya. So, yun. Yung trapezoidal, dapat yung triangular load mo is dapat nandun sa short span. Okay? So, itong mangyayari sa mga uh, slab natin. Ito yung representation. Okay? Drawing ko lang muna, then ipakita ko lang yung distribution. So, ang mangyayari kasi nito, uh, ito, yung red na yan now load is for beam 11. While yung load na to is para sa beam 33. Tapos, yung para naman sa load na to is para sa beam 25. Then, ito, post lang tayo dito guys ha, sa span na yan. So, ito, lalagyan ko pa ito. Okay. So, medyo pangit pero, consider nyo lang. Okay, then, ito naman, ito yung green na yan, is para sa 37. So, ito yung distribution natin. So, paano natin yan makakonvert into uh, linear load, which is 
yung magiging for example yung ito yung beam natin ito yung beam din ah uh, may support tayo kailangan natin i-transfer into linear load yon na naka kilonewton per meter dapat naka kilonewton per meter siya okay yun okay so using this tool as you can see na na identify natin yung anong klaseng slab siya so that is the way so pag sabihin yung load to short span is 7.2 So, ibig sabihin, ang short, ang short span dito is ito, yung V33 then V37. So, yung result dito na 7.2 is ito lang 7.2. It's isang triangle lang. So, same lang naman. So, dapat i-times to mo para makuha mo ang load na ng 33. Pero sa V11, kasi isa lang siya, ito yung 7.69, ito na, ito na yung ano niya, load na 7.69 okay ito na yung magiging linear load so same din sa uh, B25 pero dahil dalawa sila kailan mo sila i-multiply by 2 or simply by summing up their result then ito same din sa 7.2 then 7.2 so sum up mo ito 7.2 din yan Okay. So kapag ano natin yan 7.2 uh, times 2 uh, that is per So ang load dito, ang load ng beam is uh, per 14.4. So kilo newton per meter na siya. So same din dito. Then yung sa kabila naman para sa B25 that is 2 times uh, 7.69 that is uh, okay. Yung load dito ng B25 is 15.38 yun. It's 38 kilonewton meter. So, yun lang kadali. Then, yung B11, ito na yung mismo. Uh, ito na mismo yung load natin. Kasi isa lang siya. So, ito yung kadali, uh, kagandahan pag sa tol na to, yung ginawa kong tol. Then, for example, may short span tayo. Uh, although, wala tayong short span dito. Pwede natin yan i- Sabi natin 2 sa 5 Once i-click natin So that is One with slab Kasi this is less than 0.5 Ng ratio sa Shores to long span Ng uh, slab natin Then yung shores span natin Yung distribution Wala siya Kasi yung load Lahat Ita-transfer natin Doon sa magkabilaan na Long span Beam So yun Yun lang So by the way Paano na kuha si ano Si long span I mean si one way distribution. So, ito lang yan. Uh, okay. Yung load natin, surface load. So, actually, kailangan lang i-half lang natin yung short span. So, that is 0.5. Yung short span natin is 2. Then, multiply natin sa L para maging area. That is 5. Then, multiply natin surface area na 4.8. So, para maging kilonewton per meter. Kailan yung per meter na yan. So, para maging linear meter siya, we need to divide the L, which is the 5. So, divide 5. So, 4.8 yung magiging linear load dun sa long span. Okay? As you can see. So, ito yung kadalian. Then, aside from that, uh, ginawang, ginawa kong tool is may, may function siya na pwede, mo, pwede natin siya i-clear. So, once i-click natin yung clear, lahat ng data is may clear. Madi-delete. So, let's say, mag, ano pa tayo ng sample, calculate. So, ito yung ratio, two-way. Then, ito yung corresponding uh, linear load natin. Then, mayroon din tayong about and disclaimer. So, of course, yung about natin, about sa author, ako, uh, yours truly. Then, the disclaimer about this program. Then, of course, sa exit. Yan. Yan lang, guys. Uh, I-attach ko na lang yung link, yung download link para uh, pati yung account para makalagin kayo. Okay, of course, uh, ito yung hinihing ko lang. Please do subscribe to our channel and share. Of course, don't forget to like for every video tutorial na i-upload natin. Thank you and God bless.